Hi, my name is Summer May Finlay and this is another entry into my PhD blog. I am going to talk about ethics today. A lot of people don't like putting in ethics and I just thought I'd share my experiences. Um, just to be upfront, I also have worked casually and continue to work casually for an ethics committee. So I am in a very privileged position because I think I have a better insight than a lot of other people into the ethics processes. So. For those that don't know, I'll give you a bit of background into Aboriginal ethics. It's a little bit different from mainstream ethics. So in some states and territories, there's a, a specific Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander ethics committee that's in WA, New South Wales, South Australia. In the Northern Territory, there is two. And you, you don't have one in Victoria or Queensland or Tasmania. Most of those, if you're doing a national project, will expect you to go through each of those individually, as well as your university ethics as well which does mean you can have multiple ethics applications like I did which I had to do six ethics applications um, and of course that does take up some time. There is really specific things that the Aboriginal ethics committees are looking for and I know that a lot of people feel that it's a burden I actually found that putting in so many ethics applications was actually quite useful to me because it helped me narrow down my thoughts on things, get really specific about the benefits for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and communities of my project. And I think that no one likes doing paperwork, but if you can actually look at the useful parts of it, um, it'll probably make it less burdensome. And I know that a lot of people don't really understand why Aboriginal people want a separate ethics and I think it's because so many people have had research done to them or within their communities that's been badly done. And ethics by no way is going to make sure that it's done well, but it is certainly one step to making sure that only uh, ethics, only research gets done that is actually going to be um, appropriate. And, you know, I know it can be a challenge that there's not one national ethics but we have a system at the moment. And I found that a lot of them actually asked very similar questions. So it wasn't like I had to write six individual. Some of the stuff I could actually copy and paste or even just tweak to make it appropriate. And look, you know, I, I hear all the time that people find ethics really challenging. And if I found that because I'd spoken to people about my project beforehand um, within the Aboriginal community controlled sector, that I had actually used a topic that was of importance to the Aboriginal community controlled sector, I didn't have some of the same issues that other people have, that where they actually create a research project in isolation of community and with the community organisations and then expect community to support it lock, stock and barrel. And clearly that's never going to be appropriate. Um, and I think that, you know, my experience working in Aboriginal Community Controlled Health Services taught me that as an individual what I want is important but it never is more important than what the collective want. So my advice is if you are putting in ethics applications you need to make sure that you consult Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples well before you actually design the project so that way when you're putting in the application you can genuinely actually say how it's going to benefit pe Aboriginal people and you can also genuinely say how you've engaged Aboriginal people. Um, I mean I'm very lucky that we got through with pretty much no comments. The only comments I've had is that I need letters of support from two of the peak bodies. One of them I've received, one I'm, I'm still talking to them about. So, you know, ethics doesn't have to be a burden, particularly if you start designing your research project appropriately, you'll probably find it a lot easier. I'm just a PhD student and I'm sure there's people that have put in more ethics applications than me, but, you know, I actually really enjoyed the process and I think that if you can see the benefits in it, you're less likely to find it challenging and more likely to actually enjoy it like I did. So I know this is a bit different to my normal PhD blogs, but I thought that I would share my experiences in case they help somebody else. Thanks very much. Bye.